December 7, 1941, Oahu, Hawaii, 7.02 a.m. The sun had barely risen to mark a new day when two U.S. Army privates noticed an oddity on their mobile radar station. It appeared to them that a group of planes had entered their view and there seemed to be no explanation for why. Naturally, they decided to call the information center on the other side of the island to inquire about these planes. The Army lieutenant that answered simply dismissed their concerns and insisted that these were American B-17s coming from California and nothing more. Business went on as usual, and it was assumed that America was safe for yet another day. 7.58 a.m. Air Raid Pearl Harbor, this is not a drill. Something had gone terribly wrong. The planes that had been detected by the radar were not an American fleet. This was a hostile force. Pearl Harbor was under attack. The Japanese had 353 planes. The attack was incredibly meticulous and coordinated. The Americans had been completely caught off guard, and it quickly showed. Civilians who witnessed the first strikes recall the horror, hearing screams of the American troops and even other civilians who were caught up in the explosions and gunfire. The Japanese target was the US Pacific Fleet, and they battered the American ships with rapid aggression. The scene was devastating, and it took only minutes for the damage to start adding up. At 8.54 a.m., the second wave began. The initial destruction was not enough to satisfy the Japanese. They returned with the remaining fleet of 167 aircraft and laid waste to the harbor. It was like rubbing salt in the wound and there was nothing that the Americans could do. By the end, eight U.S. battleships had been damaged, with a couple being destroyed beyond repair. Nineteen total Navy ships had been struck, including the eight battleships. 2,403 Americans lost their lives, with 68 of those being civilians. 1,178 were wounded. 92 Navy aircraft were destroyed, with 31 more damaged. Over 200 additional Army Air Corps crafts were struck. Pearl Harbor was in shambles. So now we are left to wonder, why did Japan attack Pearl Harbor? Well, it's not as though there was a friendly relationship between Japan and the U.S. leading up to the attack. In fact, earlier that same morning, America had fired its first shots in the war when the USS Ward came across a Japanese submarine. The US had long been placing trade embargoes on and severing ties with the Japanese due to their expansionist behavior across the globe, and ongoing negotiations were utterly failing. From Japan's point of view, war with America was inevitable. Japan wanted to expand, and America wanted them to stop. Nonetheless, the Japanese knew that the likelihood of victory against the states was slim unless they were able to catch America off guard. So then the goal was created, take out the American Pacific Fleet. The thought was that Operation AI, or Operation Z as it was called during the planning stages, would effectively destroy both America's fleet in the Pacific and their Navy's morale, which would give Japan the upper hand and keep the US out of their hair. Ironically, this plan was a complete embarrassment by the end of the war. The Japanese, maybe in their overzealousness, failed to destroy American ammunition sites, oil tanks, and perhaps most unfortunately, U.S. repair facilities. Since many of the naval ships had not been completely lost, these repair facilities proved to be especially vital. Furthermore, every single American aircraft carrier had been sent out on a mission prior to the Pearl Harbor attack, meaning that none were even present as the gunfire and bombs rained down. Japan, therefore, instead triggered the U.S.'s formal entry into World War II, which would eventually lead to Japan's own September 2, 1945, surrender. 